Libraries of Leaders is a Bloomberg Quint weekly list of what leaders are reading. Hello and welcome to Libraries of Leaders with me, Varun. On this year-end special, we ask three of our columnists, Raghav Bell, Shankar Ayer, and Praveen Chakravarti, what topped their reading lists this year. Raghav Bell started off his media career as a correspondent and anchor with Doordarshan in the year 1985. He went on to found the Network 18 Group and co-founded Quintillion Media, which is a part owner of Bloomberg Quint. He has written for publications such as The Statesman, The Pioneer and The Times of India. He recommended The Rise and Fall of Nations by Ruchir Sharma. The book draws on the author's experiences travelling the world for over two decades and transforms economics into a practical art. Among other things, the book also explains how to read indicators of change in this era. Bell said the book appealed to him because of the way in which the author had woven dry data points into a unique, interesting and anecdotal narrative. Shankar Ayer is a political economy analyst and author of Accidental India, a history of the nation's passage through crisis and change. His recommendations for 2016 centered around themes such as artificial intelligence, 3D printing, and algorithmic thinking. He recommended Homo Deo, A Brief History of Tomorrow by Israeli author Yuval Noah Hariri. The author has proposed in the past that we did not domesticate wheat, but wheat domesticated us. The book prophesizes the rise of a superhuman race bestowed with supernatural powers who will soon replace humankind as we know it. The book was first published in English in September 2016. Praveen Chakravarti is a senior fellow at the IDFC Institute, which is a Mumbai-based think tank. His work focuses on financial sector legislation and the political economy. He recommended Conversations with Bani Ratnam by Bharadwaj Rangan. He said that the book was an utterly delightful look into the mind of one of India's most creative filmmakers. The ability to blend a bird's eye perspective with a worm's eye gaze is something that most of us struggle with, Chakravarti said. He said that the book explains clearly how Mani Ratnam manages to do this with consummate ease. That's a wrap on this week's edition. Do tune in next week to find out what other leaders are reading. Thank you for watching Bloomberg Quint.